She needed to die. It's for the betterment of society. Wasn't it? I mean, don't you get it? She was a leech. Taking from everyone and giving nothing back. Only to waste it on a funeral afterwards. And now I can save my family from this guy named Luzin. I did everyone a favor that you should be thanking me, not condemning me. Get off me. No. Hey, buddy, how are you doing? I've been trying to get a hold of you for several days, but I have not been able to. Man, you look really sick. Are you okay? Some people say Raskolnikov is hard to get along with, but I'm pretty close to him. He may come off as cold at first, but he has a caring underneath side. He is very nice if you get to know him. He's certainly a bright man, so he is always fun to talk to. Yes. Oh, what's going on? What's going on? Well, have you heard about the murder of the prawn broker? Oh, <sighs> I'm on the rest, Hello, I'm Lucin. I'm uh, your sister's new fiance. I've been reading a lot recently, and I've learned a lot of interesting new theories out there. And I'm partial to the socialist perspective. I think it's time we toss off our foolish traditions and move forward into modernity, leaving behind those who can't compete. But isn't it important to keep Western society and Russian society, those values together balanced with the region. Outrageous, you don't know what you're talking about. Hey, you're the one that's confused. I'll never let you marry my sister if you treat her like property. Get out of my room! Away! <clears throat> Jeez. Mama the dog! I'm sorry. I just got a cough. Um, You've been such a blessing to this family. How can we thank you? I'm sorry for your loss. Here, have 20 rubles. What? And I don't need your thanks. I just need one thing. Keep me in your prayers. Okay. Yes, I know. I don't have a lot of money. But I mean, these people, they have it so much more worse off than me. I mean, I just feel bad for them. And I just, you know, I feel like it's my duty to help them. I mean, who knows? Maybe it'll help assuage my sins. I mean, who knows? I mean, I just, but I, I just can't just stand there and do nothing. <coughs> Mother! Dunya! Oh, Rodya, we've missed you so much, and we heard that you were sick and had to stop by when we had town for Dunya's wedding. Are you okay? And, uh, yeah, I'm fine. What is, what is this I hear? About you marrying that creep Luzon, huh? What is this about? But, huh? but, but Rodia, we need his money. We'll mm. lose everything. Not if I can do anything about it. So I just pawned some items with the old pawnbroker that just died. Yeah. And uh, they might suspect me of some crime, you know. Yeah. So I just want to go down to the police station, mm -hmm. clear my name up, thanks, you know. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah, see, but what is this I uh, hear about you? And my uh, sister. Uh, oh, come now. It's it's nothing really. Uh, you can't deny. She's a fine woman. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I guess. But she's probably even twice as good when you're as drunk as you were last night, eh? <laughs> 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 uh. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Hello, how may I help you? Well, uh, <clears throat> I had pawned a few items with the murdered pawnbroker, and I heard you he wanted to meet with uh, anyone who had done so, so here I am. Ah, so you're the last one. I hope you don't mind if I ask you some questions. Is he playing games with me? I know he suspects me, but I gotta figure out a way to get him off my trail. But anyways, we'll clear up this murder soon enough. However, I do recall reading a very interesting article on crime recently. And if I remember correctly, you were the author, Mr. Eskolnikov. Would you mind explaining some of your intriguing points? Well, um, 
to the thesis basically just boils down to this. Uh, society is really just made up of some men who are higher intellectuals than others. <clears throat> and they're on a higher moral level than these other people. And these people are basically the leaders of the society. The Newtons, the Napoleons, as I call them, the supermen. And um, I think that these men shouldn't have to be constrained by the petty laws of the governed lesser men, per se. And um, sometimes these laws can only impend the progress created by the greats or the supermen. So, so these greater men can say murder, they say it's for the greater good. Well, uh, hmm. Yeah, I mean, theoretically, yes. But only in extreme case <clears throat> cases. <clears throat> Certainly you're joking. But how does someone know if they're the great man, the superman? You know, some people, they can just tell. I mean, they just know, bam, I'm great, I'm superman. But when they compare themselves with other people, they find these other woefuls lacking. Are you one of these higher men, Mr. Oskolnikov? Oh, no. I'm just a poor student who just strongly loves philosophy. Thank you for your time. It's been great talking with you. Farewell. <sighs> My name is Savitrigailov, the former employer of your sister Dunya. You! What the heck are you doing here? I must admit, I was unable to live apart from your beautiful sister for much longer. And I have come to ask your assistance in regaining her love. Regaining? She doesn't love you. You know, be that as it may. But I don't think she should have to marry this man, Luzin. So I have come to offer her 10,000 rubles. Also, 3,000 rubles for my wife's will. She so. will never accept your money. You know, that may be too. But uh, you should just pass on the offer. That jerk Rask poisoned his sister against me, and now she broke off our engagement. I'll get back at him, because I secretly slipped 100 rubles into that prostitute's pocket that he's been hanging out with. So she's going to land in a ton of trouble. Thief! You stole 200 rubles from me! No! I never! Turn out your pockets. I have no clue how this guy did. I'm going to get the police. Stop right there, Illusion. I know what you did. I saw you slip that money into Sonia's pocket so you could disgrace her. Shame on you. Wait. This is all a plot to disgrace me just because of my attitude towards this man. Shame on you. You fools. I'm not done with you yet. Rizuma knows. Sonia knows. Dunya knows. Svidrigailov knows. I'm pretty sure Porphyry knows. That painter's confession just bought me some time. But he's too smart to be just satisfied with that confession. I mean, I just can't live with myself anymore. I can't take it. I'm gonna confess. Hey, Raskolnikov, it's good to see you. Say, there's this rumor going around. Someone shot himself, a man did. I think his name was... Savitra Galov. Excuse me, officer. It is I who you seek, for I killed the pawnbroker. Mm -hmm. I am a murderer. Take me in! <laughs> Don't cry, my friends. It's only eight short years. And keep in touch through Sonia. I heard she's moving near me. Take me out. That's enough. Let's go. Come on. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Where's my train? They just put me in because I pirated like 10 gigs of music. So. Well, my crime. My crime. I just killed a loud on society. I mean, someone not even worthy. And they threw me in here. I mean, you know. Bad. Well, enough chat, it. boys. Oh. Hey, keep nice it real, bro. Here. YOLO. Uh -huh.
No! Get off! Get off! Stop! Get away! Get away! <laughs> get away! So Sonia? Is that you? Sonia, I just had the most terrible dream! But because of it, I think I'm a changed man, Sonia. I've realized what I've done. And I know how much I love you. And I think after I go through numerous changes, I can and we can find our true happiness. Papa, la